great way to mark the trees. Oh, but it's still gonna stay by it. All right. Oh, is it lucky here, Charlie Brown? The tie on it. I gotta get the tie off it, but I got it first. Go right through the opening like last time. I'm going on the hay bales. Okay, hurry up. I have no idea. I'm assuming it's like last time you go through the fence row. So it's not as busy today as I thought it was going to be. And like I said, not as cold, which is a major plus. But we're still on the hunt for a tree. we got somebody standing beside one tree. So that they can say it's ours pretty much. And then we're going to look for the, another one. But I wonder. So here's the deal. She likes them big or round. That didn't come out right. But that's how she likes the trees. Big and round. I got two here. Potentials. I'm gonna make a suggestion. We'll see what she says. Jenny, I got two two prospects here. Hold on, I need to tell you my prospect first. This one and this one. This one's too short. Oh, that one's not bad. He's a little lopsided, but I don't think it's as tall as. Is he from the wrong side of town, or? Huh? <laughs> Told you. I got a chainsaw to even them up. Not as tall as the one that's. Uh... There you go. That's my third pick right there, no. or the one right here. Hold on, where? Were you distracting yeah. me? We had some back there. Look at this guy. No, is that fat enough? What? Yeah, that's where I was headed, and then he pulled me back again. This one's not bad either. Actually, this one is more symmetrical here. This one is. It's not quite as tall. So what's the other side look like? But. Oh, it's full all the way around. I was going to say, that one Emma had was back there was too. This one. So much to choose from. Oh, well. I hear you yelling back here. I was going to point that one out to you. Which one? Oh, yeah. Which one? There you go. Look at this one right here. Which one? Cut the dead shit off the bottom on the one side. Hey, family show here. Family show. Cut the dead stuff off the bottom. That one there? Yeah. Looks like a weeble. I think why? It's just because it goes all the way to the ground on the one side. Oh, all what right. What about the one beside it too? Yeah. The two of them there. You cut the top. She 
pizza. Call him back here. What do we got? What? No, I think we got some here. Yeah? Or there's that one beside it, too. Okay. It looks a little wonky in there. No, uh, that's not bad in the middle. It doesn't look too bad. It just looks like some of the branches are a little wonky on the side on it, but... It's got a little bit of dead in the middle. That one does? <laughs> See? I wonder when they, if they, is it why. just because they're so big? Or is it like, well, look at these. But maybe that's, trying... maybe that's how they go from the inside out. All right, fellas, I'm going to give you some life advice here. Your old Christmas tree shopping. She's picked out a couple. Some were dead in the middle. But you want to speed this process along a little bit, you make suggestions. You gotta get out there, get dirty a little bit, start looking around, finding them, point them out, and say, hey, what do you think of this? One, it looks like you're helping. Two, you just might find one that she's gonna say, hey, yeah, we'll take that one. She'll take credit for it, but that's okay. Get you out of the tree yard that much quicker. Well, she didn't get a chance to change her mind. We end up with this one. Are they? here we go we made it home Our Christmas trees up there on the porch I gotta get the tie off of it, but first I got to get it set in the Christmas tree holder is that what it's called the base we have a tendency for them not to stand upright and or fall over one or the other we're trying to do this one right so Jen's gonna come on give me a hand and we're gonna try and get it done right check out the lights that one up there just burned out Neighbors across the road got some going too. Anyway, so she gets out here, we're gonna have at it. All right guys, so this is the uh, screws that hold it in. It's just an eyelet. What I do is I take a Allen key, put it in my drill and use that to screw it in a little quicker. Pro tip from Johnson Family Outdoors. Pro, but that's a tip. All right, guys, so we use the drill to screw these in, and they go right into the trunk. Okay, right over here. They go in probably about an inch all the way around. This one, this one, that one there as well. A little hard to see. The lighting's pretty bad, but they go right into the trunk. I believe this is the first one we've had that uh, we screwed in and don't, actually stayed upright. Don't curse us. Oh, don't curse us. Hey. So Jen's going to put some water in there, then we're going to cut the uh, string on it and let it kind of flow open and see what we end up with. Alright guys, we got the string off the tree. It's actually sitting in the base better than any other tree we've had. Also, 
it's touching the ceiling. So Jen seems to think this is the biggest tree we've ever had. And it's straight. Go figure. But she's happy with it. And that's all that matters. Because if she's not happy with it, then I'm not going to be happy with it. So she's good. I'm good. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that. Thanks for coming along. This is a tradition that we do every... How am I pointing at you? This is a tradition that we do every year. And thanks for joining us. And as always, get us and enjoy the outdoors. Later. Not done, but it's coming. It's not uh, fat like that one back there, though. Yeah, we get her in the house. I got a chainsaw. I'm all about, I like the, the round. I cut her right in the middle.